Hi, welcome to KML Tools. My name is Alan Noble. I'm the author of KML Tools and today I'm going to show you how to convert from DXF to KML. DXF is the exchange format used by CAD programs such as SketchUp and AutoCAD and KML is the exchange format used by mapping tools such as Google Maps and Google Earth. First you select a DXF file. I'm selecting Adelaide underscore terraces dot DXF. And you can look at this file in any text editor. It's just plain text. Here I've highlighted the extent of the drawing. This says it starts at x equals 0 and y equals 0 and extends to x equals 2828, y equals 1752. We can also display it on the screen by selecting HTML and clicking on this button here and you can see what it looks like. At the bottom of the drawing you can see the extremities. So this is quite useful information. And you can see here, for example, 136.0 is one of the extremities. This is that point up there, and the other extremities here as well. That's quite useful if you're not quite sure what the drawing ex extremities are. Okay, now we're ready to convert it into a KML file. So to do this, we have to do what's called a projection. So we select project, and what we're going to do and I've already done this once before, I'm going to map these coordinates in the drawing. So remember that point 136.0, that's one of my original two points. I'm using two points, I'm using 136.0 and 2143, 1742. So that is going to map to the following latitude longitudes. So these latitude longitude uh, coordinates you would obtain from a map. So what this is, is this first point maps to those coordinates in the real world and that point maps to that coordinate in the real world. This time we select KML and we say generate KML file and it generates a file by default called dxf to kml.kml. If you double click on that it brings up Google Earth And voila, you can see that we've actually now mapped that DXF drawing exactly onto the four terraces that define the central business district of Adelaide. You can turn it off there, see off, on, off, on, off. That's it. All the other features are basically optional if you want to crop parts of it, if you need to ship some, uh, shift some of the coordinates in the original drawing. If you want to flip, uh, flip the drawing, so instead of um, displaying it in quadrant one, if you remember your basic uh, maths, you can flip it to quadrant two, etc. But that's pretty much it. The key thing is to select project, specify a couple of points in the original drawing, and the corresponding two points as a latitude or, as a latitude or longitude. You can also use UTM coordinates, but if you do that, you also have to specify which UTM grid zone. And that is how you use KML Tools DXF to KML Converter. Thank you.